Hello and welcome to another video on Call of Duty Zombies. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to mod World at War on the Xbox 360 and Xbox One. Now first of all, you need Call of Duty World at War for Xbox. Uh, you need an Xbox 360 console for the mods and you need a computer that will run a Horizon. Uh, which is only Windows, so uh, if you've got a Windows machine uh, or PC, uh, you're good to go, but if you've got Mac, uh, you can use stuff like Virtual Machine or Boot Camp uh, to get it working. So let's get into the video. Now first off, you need to have an Xbox 360. So this, you can you can just buy your friends, or if you've got an old one, you can use it in that. Uh, all you have to do is get a save game. So once you've got your USB stick, uh, you want to just go the, go right to the settings in the, at the end there. Go to System, Storage, uh, then you want to go your USB stick that's been plugged in. Go press Y, and then go Format, and then press Yes. Uh, this will pretty much clear it and make it so uh, save games are able to be stored on the device. So, And also back up your stuff if you've got anything on there. So because you'll probably most likely lose it. Now once that is done, uh, we want to just want to load up the game now. So we'll just get on it now. Uh, so now we are on it, uh, on the main menu for Call of Duty World at War. You should go on to there and then go USB storage device as a device. You want to go solo, uh, mission select and just go to any of the missions uh, Then we just want to go through the little cutscene that is in every start of every mission and After that uh, once we get to the actual game you just want to go save and quit and That will be it for the first part of uh, modding on modding will it cause you with at war now Let's get to the computer uh, Now we're on the computer and uh you should have this thing called Horizon and uh, WinRun installed. They'll be, and also the link for the modded save game, which will all be in the description, and you can look at it. Um, uh, it really depends on which version of WinRun and that you can install, but um, uh, fairly 2-bit if you're really unsure. Now, the first thing you'll see is once you pl unplug the USB stick from the Xbox and put it on the computer, you will see... Uh, a device explorer when you open up uh, Horizon. Now this is good. Uh, once you've got the modded save, it'll be, it'll be called Master Mods. You just want to just open it up, uh, go to 415, the next one, and then the save game.svg and just drag it into the the grey box here. Now you'll see that it'll be Master Mods in the corner, the gamer tag with the little face in that. Now all you have to do now is just Go your your USB device and go down on the little triangles, and then you'll see your yeah your own one that we just did before. Now the left one's the modded one, and the right one's our one. So just remember that. Uh, now we just want to copy the profile ID and then just paste it into the modded one. So there we got the profile ID done. Now we just want to do the device ID. You can just go to Control A and then just copy it and then paste it in. And then uh, the console ID, which is the last thing you need to do. Uh, copy and paste it into there. That's pretty much it. You can delete that one. And you're left with this one. Go save and rehash and resign. Go save the device. Just go yes. And say yes again. OK. And you're pretty much finished on this. That is all you have to do for on the computer. And now we go back onto the Xbox. Now we're back on Xbox and we're just lo loading in that into World at War right now. You can see it loading right there. Just wait for it. Just skip the little intro cutscene. And then we'll go start, go back to the USB storage device. Now we just want to go solo and resume game. Now what this will do is just be a black screen and a loading bar at the bottom will uh, go really quick and it will, you'll see this again, uh, which will kick you out. 
that means you have pr officially done it pretty much you have got it working and uh, you're good to go so now we just went to the first zombies map knocked it on Tolton we just get get this lo little loading scene sc screen thing uh, over and done with and you'll see all the mods appearing Uh, just to clarify, this is all done on Xbox Live Gold, so uh, it should work for the 360. Now here we are, all the mod menus opened up, so you can go test it for yourself. Uh, there's there's tons and tons of mods, you can, different mods you can do. Uh, I, I wasn't really, I wasn't really like, I was a bit confused at the, this point because I was haven't I've done this for a few years, and you can just go test yourself by just pressing back LB and then going X and stuff like that so just just try on error pretty much uh, but anyway that is pretty much all the mods and you can go full around with that now if you want to have mods on the Xbox One yourself the solo mods yourself uh, th these mods also work on multiplayer by the way but you can just go back to back to the settings menu at the start uh, go storage devices Okay, once you're on storage device, just go, in case you've already got a save, you go cloud, you go call of duty, world at war, and you just delete that out of there. Now that just, now that just makes it so uh, this modded game would, would work on your, um, on an Xbox One, so you just get it out of there, and now you just get go onto the USB stick, you go on to games and apps, go call of duty, world at war, and you just move it into the, um, cloud save, ga save games so you can now uh, officially play it on your Xbox One and uh, that is pretty much it um, if you want to go to your friend's house and you got World at War you can play it and all that all that stuff so we'll just, we'll just now test it on the Xbox One now okay so here we just started up the Call of Duty World at War on the Xbox One uh, we'll make it, we'll just fast forward a little bit. You just, all you have to do is each time you go on the game, just go solo. And then all you have to do is go resume game again. And make sure it has, uh, pops up on your screen, uh, downloading save games for your account. And just go solo, resume game. It will do the little black screen and back you out. So here I'm playing Durice, as you can see. Uh, one thing to note is uh, once you've um, put the mods onto the uh, Xbox and then put the save on, uh, uh, if you go mission select or um, or anything else other than uh, the resume game, it will uh, make the mods uh, disappear and you'll be back to like a normal game save. So just be mindful of that. And if you do do that, um, uh, you might ha you have to do this thing all over again. And here we go. We've got some mods. Uh, yeah, and that has been my tutorial of how to get um, a mod Xbox 360 and Xbox One by yourself. Uh, you can also do this, do this on uh, multiplayer as well with your friends and that, and uh, have some fun. You can also do a thing, like, thing as in like unlocking your weapons, you can't die, uh, unlocking all the achievements in the game. There's a whole lot of stuff you can do. Uh, so you can go test it out for yourself and have some fun. Uh, that has been my tutorial uh hope you'll know how to do it and have some fun by yourself or and yeah uh have a good time and that's been my tutorial thank you for watching and i'll see you in another video